Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna to show you a quick tip that'll help you become an even better presenter in Microsoft Teams. I wanna show you how you can continue to see chats, conversations, and even hand raises while you're presenting in Microsoft Teams. Now, one of the biggest annoyances is you're on point to present, so you share your desktop, maybe you share a window, and you no longer have a view into what the chat is or who has their hand up. And so typically what happens is one of your audience members has to call on you to stop so you could respond to whatever chat or hand raises appear. Luckily, there's a better way, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you could take advantage of it. Why don't we jump on the PC and get started? Here I am on my desktop, and I have Microsoft Teams open, and it's a fantastic day today. It is the Kevin Cookie Company annual meeting. As the CEO of the Kevin Cookie Company, I'm on point to present all of the content. I'm presenting in front of analysts and shareholders, and I know they're gonna have a lot of questions for me. They're gonna raise their hand. They're gonna wanna ask about our new locations. So I need to make sure I'm on top of the chat and I'm on top of the hand raises. So how do I do that? Well, first off, let's go ahead and share some content. To share content, I'm gonna go up to the meeting controls on the top, and I'm gonna click on the share content icon. This opens up all of the different sharing options on the bottom of the screen. Let's start out by sharing the desktop. When I share my desktop, this literally shares my entire desktop. Here I could see all of my content that I'm gonna run through with the shareholders and the analysts. The only problem is I can't see the messages, I can't see chat, I can't see when people raise their hand. If I wanna see all of that, I have to toggle back and forth between PowerPoint and Teams. So here I could jump back into Teams and I could view all the participants to see who has a hand up. And here I could click into show conversation and here, look, it looks like Emily already has a question for me and I completely missed this. So just sharing my desktop isn't gonna work. What other options do I have? Let me click on share content again, and once again, this opens up the sharing tray. Let me try sharing my window to see if that works any better. When I share my window, it's now sharing PowerPoint. Now what I could do is I can move PowerPoint to half my screen, and I could put Teams on the other half of the screen. So here I could look at the conversation now, all while I'm presenting content. Well, let me throw PowerPoint into presentation mode and see how this, oh, it looks like, once again, my PowerPoint content has taken over the screen, and if I wanna see Teams, once again, I have to toggle over to Teams, and here I see that question again that I might've missed, or maybe I missed some hand raises. So this doesn't really work that well either. I'm back in Teams now. Let me click once again on Share Content and see what I could do. Well, the third option allows me to share a PowerPoint. Let me click on this and see how this works. It's loaded the deck into Teams, and here I could still view all my participants so I could see hand raises. I could also click on conversation and here I see Emily's question alongside my content. So this works pretty well, but what if I wanna use presenter mode in PowerPoint, or maybe I don't wanna just share a PowerPoint presentation, maybe I wanna jump onto a web browser to show our website, and so I need to jump between content, but I still wanna see the chat and I still wanna see hand raises. This doesn't really work either. Now at this point you might be thinking, well Kevin, just invest in a second monitor. You could have Teams on one monitor and you could have the content that you're presenting on another monitor. Well, I only have one monitor. I don't wanna get another monitor. Are there any solutions? Well, you are in luck. What you can do is you can use your mobile device as a second screen. Here I have my phone up alongside Microsoft Teams on my desktop. And the really fantastic thing is I'm logged in with my Kevin account on the desktop and I'm logged in with the exact same account on my phone. So you can be logged in to both places at the same time. Now let's try this again. I'm gonna click on share content and I'm gonna share my desktop. So here I have my deck up and on my phone over on the side, I'm gonna now click on join and I'm gonna join this exact same meeting. This now joins the meeting and I can see my content on my phone and I'm logged in with the same account in both places. Now what I can do is effectively I can use my phone as my second screen. So on my phone, I'm gonna click on chat and now I could view a chat. So here I see Emily's message for me and I could keep this right next to my computer monitor as a way to stay on top of the chat. If I go back, I could click on the participants and here I could see if anyone raises their hand. 
And look at that, it looks like Emily just raised her hand, so I can pause for a moment and ask her what her question is. The really beautiful thing is you can effectively use your phone as a second display alongside your monitor so you could focus on what you're presenting on your desktop and then you could use your phone to stay on top of the chat and also stay on top of hand raises. All right, well, isn't that a cool trick that you could use your phone right alongside your desktop on the same account and you could see your chats, conversations, and also hand raises. This is something that I've been using in all my meetings and I actually didn't come up with this idea. This came from viewers like you. You suggested this idea. I learned something new every day and I wanted to thank all of you for suggesting this. If this video was helpful for you and you now know how to stay on top of your chat and hand raises, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future tips and tricks like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. That's how I build my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks a lot and I hope to see you next time. Bye.